are back with comedian Dave Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. So I'm over the illness that has struck me down for the last fucking five days. I'm feeling shit still, like just flat though, not ill. Boy, oh fucking boy, that was just fucking five days of fucking bullshit. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't read. I couldn't fucking do any writing. I couldn't even really think that straight. It was just Instagram reels and fucking YouTube shorts. Fucking 18 hours a day for five days. That was the only thing getting me through. It was the little fucking dopamine hits I needed. I couldn't even listen to fucking podcasts. I didn't have it in me. It was an unproductive five days. Today, I don't feel sick at all, but I'm just fucking exhausted from the last five days. I didn't get a good night's sleep last night. I couldn't fucking fall asleep till like 4am. For whatever reason, there was no particular reason. It was just fucking, I couldn't switch off. So somehow I got to drag my ass down to the gym tomorrow. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to get back into the exercise now. I do not feel like fucking exercising or jujitsu or anything at all. But I'm going to force myself tomorrow because I've basically been horizontal for the last five days, 22 hours a day. Either lying on the couch or just lying in bed. It's been fucked. Whenever I get sick like that, it really changes your fucking perspective on shit. Because in your head, when you're thinking about the future, particularly how much time you've got left to do everything that you want to do, You always project into the future that you're healthy. So you're like, oh yeah, I've got five years to do that. I'm going to be 100% healthy all those five years, so it's going to be fine. But that's not necessarily the fucking truth, is it? Anything could happen in those five years. Anything can happen in the future. You could get sick and two of those years are fucking wiped out completely because you can't fucking do anything when you're sick. I can't anyway. I can barely fucking do it when I'm in perfect health. I've seen other people push through illness pretty good, but fucking not me. I need to be in 100% health at all times to get anything done. So yeah, when I fucking get a little illness like this, you start thinking about the future and you're like, hold on a second. I better get fucking everything I need to get done or want to get done, done ASAP while I'm healthy before something fucking really does happen. Not just a little weak illness. What if something else happens? I can't fucking be taking chances with that. I need to fucking use every last second of my fucking available health to get this shit done. That's the other reason why I'm trying to get myself real healthy as well. So I get more years being healthy. I think if you're unhealthy, you fucking don't exercise, you eat like shit, you smoke, you drink, do drugs and all that sort of stuff. I think by the time you're 45, much earlier as well, depending on the excess you're fucking doing it in. But I think by the time you're like 45, you're going to be in a little bit of fucking health trouble. It's a concern. You got to do some shit when you're young cunts. For any youngsters out there, make sure you get fucking some leverage out of your youth. Out of the years where you have optimum fucking energy and strength and fucking mental acuity, get all the fucking juice you can out of those years because fucking it does go downhill. I'm still not feeling 100% either. I'm fucking just drained. I'm fucking exhausted. I don't know what the fuck it was either. My wife's got it now. So fucking, I gotta start looking after her. She hasn't been knocked around yet as much as I have. Although women tend to get through these things a little bit better than men. I said this fucking a while back. But a flu and stuff like that, I'm not good at. Men aren't good at that fucking pain. That's a woman's type of pain. That fucking nagging, annoying pain. Just a dull, constant beating down. Men aren't good at that pain, but like a cut or a stabbing or a fucking gunshot wound or like a broken leg or finger or something like that, that's a man's sort of pain. We can fucking just bite on a fucking stick, have a dart and push through. 
but give me the fucking sniffles and it's fucking over. I couldn't even think. I didn't even want to think. I wasn't even trying to think. I just wanted it to fucking be over, especially after the first two days. I got to be honest, I was fucking pretty chilled out the first two days, even though I was sick as fuck. I was like, this is kind of cool. I've just spent all day in bed. But by day three, I was like, oh, fuck this. This has ruined my whole fucking week. Anyway, it's going to be a big fucking week in Boyle Town next week, which is tomorrow. Fucking it all starts tomorrow. The fucking train is back on the tracks and we're going to make some fucking progress. Anyway, fucking that'll do for today. If you're enjoying the podcast, give her a share around and I'll see you the fuck later.